an animal that's been in a feedlot for 120 days needs to be harvested within a window of about two to three weeks. Otherwise it degrades in quality and they get over fat and the economics of feeding falls apart. You can't afford to continue feeding. So there's a huge incentive for the feedlot who's facing uh, the inability to have timely access to the market to find an alternative. And the Packers offered the alternative. They said, well, if you'll enter into this contract, a formula contract, we'll guarantee you timely access to the marketplace. And so that was the trade-off. Uh, cattle producers had to have timely access to the marketplace. And so they entered these formula contracts with the effect of shrinking the cash market and in 2015, when that we had the inexplicable collapse in cattle prices, the volume in the uh, fed cattle negotiated cash market fell to the lowest level in history. It was down to around 22%. So that meant 22% of the hundreds of thousands of cattle harvested each week uh, was setting the price for all the rest of the cattle. Typically, a formula contract is an agreement uh, to, to commit cattle to the packer and then to determine the price after the cattle are delivered and the price is most often based on the weighted average cash price the week prior to delivery. So you've got a situation where they can ship large volumes into unpriced formula contracts and then you have a cash market so thin it's vulnerable to manipulation. All the packers have to do is avoid it. And you can drive that cash market down and doing so will drive the price down on all the other cattle. 